Hello everyone, and welcome back to the extreme weirdness that happens to be Wobble Dogs, where our little puppy, Crouton1, has actually gone ahead and started barking. Look at that tail, oh my gosh. But welcome back. So this is getting more and more interesting now that I have figured out how to import the DNA and clone dogs that other people have actually created. And we are totally going to see what happens if we start mixing like croutons DNA as we get some of our own unique mutations. So this is really fun. We even have the spooky food right over here for like gourds. So we're gonna try to feed gourds to little croutons and just see what the gourds do because we've never done spooky food before. Hopefully it'll do something interesting. And they've already dug up a dirt clump and I planted some flowers. So I'm really happy about this little side experiment we've got going on. And we still have big experiments going on because celery is ready to hatch, you guys. Also, I need to clean up a lot of this poop. So much poop to clean. Oh, and it looks like it's time to go ahead and uh, get some more cheese in here. Oh, look, and somebody laid a capsule. <gasps> Front wall. Someone, oh my gosh, I think it was Tiny. Tiny, you're amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm pretty sure it was Tiny who did that. And Tiny seems to like moon cheese. And oh my gosh, Crumpet. Good job, Crumpet. Good digger. All right, so we're gonna feed Tiny like these dirt clumps. Very important. Crumpet, I am so proud of you for digging. I really hope I can teach Crumpet how to do some big digging in the near future. Um, and then if I can just, Crumpet, if you could scooch over with those big old legs. I've got to grab this dirt clump and put it in here for Tiny to eat. Meanwhile, Tiny is facing off, like literally, against the other little puppers. And speaking of puppers, where's Puppermint? Puppermint is actually ready to go ahead and, whoa! and pop into chrysalis for mutation time. So do I want to feed you anything? Okay, Peppermint, are you stuck? You're a little stuck. Here, why don't you go ahead, we'll praise you, and we'll just let you pupate. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and give lots and lots of pets so Peppermint will hopefully have a good mutation. And Celery is ready to hatch. I really love how we're just getting more and more variety going on with these dogs. Also Tiny, let's see, Mint is ready to mutate. Tiny, if you could come over and eat this baby tooth, please. That would be amazing. You don't wanna eat the baby tooth? Ah, okay, come eat this cheese then. All right, let's go ahead and hatch celery, guys. Oh, wait, 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 we got a praise. Good job, Mint, I'm so glad. Tiny, good job. Praise for eating. Tiny, come over here and eat more moon cheese, please. <gasps> a moon boot? That's so cute. Oh my gosh, good job. Mint, that's so cute. You can go ahead and grab it. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna grab this little dirt clump and drag it in here. Tiny, come eat the, Tiny, come here, come here. You need to come, you need to come eat this, Tiny. All right, come eat this tooth. It makes you shiny. All right, come eat the baby tooth. I know it's a little confusing in life, but you can do it. Yes, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and praise you for that. Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and praise this adorable puppy for playing with the toy. Crumpet, we'll go ahead and praise you. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna praise you anyway. Uh, and we've got stuff to do. So let's go ahead and hatch Celery. How are we doing here? <gasps> celery, you're getting greener and greener. Oh, that makes me so proud. It's that diet of alien fruit we have really been pushing on Celery. I wanna have a green dog. This is gonna be amazing. Celery is now a young adult. They grow up so fast. Heck. All right, we gotta get moving though because I have a lot of dogs to mutate. Um, and I need to get more alien fruit in here because that's the only thing I'm feeding these two. <gasps> Tiny's getting older. Oh my goodness, Tiny, no! All right, Tiny, I need to figure out what to do with you. Tiny's been our like reliable eater, eating dirt, eating a whole bunch of cocoons. The dirt doesn't seem to have done as much as I thought uh, for a long time. I love that we dug up a toy. Oh, good job, Vanilla, good job, Eat. I should probably feed you guys more stuff. All right, let's pull this in. This ancient fruit. 
Let's get another ancient fruit in here. There we go. Gonna clean up that poop. Uh, and I probably need to feed Tiny more things. We'll just stick to moon cheese, I guess. All right. So much going on. So much going on. Tiny, we might try breeding Tiny, but I feel like Tiny's genes aren't quite as dramatic as say like Celery's genes. Celery, I'm gonna praise you for swaying side to side. Meanwhile, little mint, I'm just gonna praise you for sitting and we'll pupate you. There we go, let's give pets. I feel like mint and vanilla have a lot of personality. <gasps> Tiny! Oh geez, Crumpet's getting older too. Tiny, praise for like not goofing off, but for laying another capsule. I wonder what effects when they lay capsules. Now we have yellow sighting, which is pretty awesome. And see vanilla, I don't really feel like vanilla has a lot going on for them other than like sheer sassiness. So we're gonna go ahead and just pupate vanilla. I need to get peppermint out of the mutations as well. There we go. Whew. There's a lot going on in here. All right, let's get the dirt clump in here with Tiny. I'm really concerned about Tiny not having much longer for this world, actually. <gasps> Our little squirrel has broken loose. Crouton, you adorable thing. You gotta come back in here. All right, good job. Good job, Crouton. All right, so the croutons are actually ready to go ahead and mutate. They're very tired. Crouton, you wanna go ahead? I'm gonna praise you for carrying, oh wait, I'm gonna praise you for carrying that. You come eat it. Oh, good job for eating, yay! Meanwhile, the other crouton, if you could come eat this, and we'll try to get a couple more gourds in here so that they'll focus on getting some very useful new gut bacteria. All right, stacked up before we go ahead and mutate them. Actually, little crouton, you have a lot of good gut bacteria now, so we'll let you pupate. What's this new bacteria? Okay, oh, short body and yellow skin from the gourd. And it looks like that's the only one from the gourd so far. I probably should have fed them different things, like maybe decorative corn, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just roll with what we got. Praise you for being silly and pupate. Whew. We've got a lot of them in the pupas at the moment. So let's go ahead. We'll hatch peppermint first. <gasps> peppermint, you're purple! Look at that, the lane colors have gone purple on peppermint. That's so cool. Oh, wow. I wonder what made you go purple. That is so much fun. We're gonna have to breed peppermint. Maybe we'll breed peppermint and celery. All right, let's touch vanilla. Hey, Vanilla! Meanwhile, oh, Vanilla's ears changed colors! Body girth changed a little bit. Snout rotation, we'll work a little more on that. Also, I'm trying to get them to eat the, oh, good job, Vanilla. Trying to get them to eat a whole bunch of the, there we go. Somebody's barking. A whole bunch of the um, cocoons. Let's hatch mint. All right, Mint, you're a little greener. The ears are now green, but I, I have to admit, we're not getting like a lot on Mint, so I'm gonna think about this. I do love Tiny though, so maybe we'll try breeding Tiny for like historical reasons soon. But let's hatch the croutons. They have the smallest little cocoons. Hey, little one. All right. Body length has gone down, so Crouton has gotten even shorter, apparently. That's hilarious. All right, what's this? We just completed something. Hatcher mutate a dog with a tail. Oh, and they gave me vine wallpaper. Oh, I love that. Also small. We got a strange plushie because we have an extremely small dog. Thank you, Crouton. I'll clean up the stuff. There we go. Other crouton, other croutons lane colors just changed. Wow, look how different they're already starting to get. Not much, but a little bit. Even just with these, these minor changes, that's really cool to see. Let's give them a better toy because I feel bad that they don't have like a lot of toys. Um, they'll have a little doggy TV. All right, where is this? No, get over here. I want to, I want to work in this room, not this room. I wanna be in here. Ah! 
Okay, apparently I'm gonna be in here. Oh, peppermint, good job. Good job digging. Okay, I wanna crossbreed peppermint and celery's pups, I think, before it's too late. Um, and I feel like I wanna have Tiny leave behind a legacy, but I don't have a lot of eggs. My dogs have only got two eggs, so I need to be kind of careful. And Peppermint is ready to go, but Celery is apparently still not old enough. Oh man, Tiny, you worked so hard to be you too. All right, let's see, safekeeping. Oh, one of my dogs buried an object. Oh, good job, Tiny. I mean, come on, Tiny is so cool. Oh no, Tiny! Tiny has lived a long full life and now it's time for them to pass on. <gasps> no, Tiny! Wait! Wait! I'm coming for you, buddy! All right, I, I know this is kind of silly, but we're gonna have Tiny and Peppermint have a baby at the last minute because I love Tiny. Tiny's been our weird eater from the beginning. Like, we fed Tiny so much dirt. We fed Tiny so many, like, weird, weird pupa things. So let's crossbreed these genetics over and over and over again until we get a dog that we feel is weird enough that it really represents Tiny. The more and more unstable you get with the genetics, the better. So Tiny is more green. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select these ones that are a little more green. All right. Genetic stability, huh? All right, let's get kind of wild. Maybe I should have chosen different dogs, but we're just gonna keep going. Right now we seem to be like Tiny 2.0. Come on. Let's see if we can get a bit of a mutation. Okay, they're starting to get sort of small. Come on. It's really fun to just keep pulling the, like, the cord on these genetics and seeing litter after litter of dogs born. All right, what do we have here? Hmm. I like you. You've got good sniffs and you've got big eyes. All right, maybe Tiny's genes aren't going to carry on with as much drama as I thought, but... All right, you're a little, you're a little jumpy. A little jumpy. <gasps> there we go, look at that, purple. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, as you get like less and less stability, uh, in your simulation, that's where you start getting weirder and weirder genetics. Look at how long this dog is. Oh my gosh, let's go with long dogs again. It's kind of the opposite of what Tiny represented, but I kind of love the idea that Tiny is going to leave behind extremely long purple dogs. I don't know what I'm going to feed these guys, but they're amazing. Oh, this one's got purple all over its face. All right, hold still, guys. I've got to figure out which one. You seem extra long and you have a really cute snout. Their snouts are starting to change. All right, Tiny, I'm gonna do my best. Okay, I think we're getting about as far down as we can. This rabbit hole. Okay, 18. You know what? I think we're, we're gonna select the final dog from here. I think we're gonna go ahead I think this is the longest dog I have ever made in my freaking life. This is hilarious. I'm gonna choose you. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like Tiny the second. Ah, there we go. That, that makes me happy. We're gonna have something to like remember Tiny by, which is good because apparently it's Tiny's final, like final moments. Where's Tiny? <gasps> Tiny! While we were doing all of that, Tiny, Tiny passed away and that means Vanilla ate Tiny. Vanilla, did you eat Tiny? Okay, I don't see any of like that DNA that happens when like the dogs get eaten. So that's good, um, I suppose. <laughs> but all right, so we can memorialize Tiny. Oh my gosh, and we can go ahead, you know what? I'm kind of tempted to let Vanilla go or just like let Vanilla roam around because Vanilla has really kept like the genetics pretty stately and boring. Um, so Vanilla, I'm going to come over, play with you. We're going to move you out of here and then I'm going to move. Here, we're going to go ahead and remove Core. Hey, Peppermint. 
Peppermint, you definitely look super interesting. <gasps> Crumpet! Crumpet, no! Oh, Crumpet, come on in, Crumpet. You've been such a good dog. I'm gonna, I guess... Oh! Crumpet! I guess I'll let Vanilla finish you off. As really, as really weird as that is. Because <laughs> that'll help us out. Good job bouncing, good job digging. It'll help out with preserving. What, what it does is it preserves a whole bunch of... It preserves a whole bunch of the bacteria that those dogs like spent their life gathering. So now look at how diverse the diet is in vanilla. All right, vanilla. That's, that's just the way it's gonna be. If you could eat this this tooth, I'm gonna praise you for that. Just finish off, finish off the rest of Crumpet, please. And maybe you two will grow to be as... Oh my gosh. Oh no, one of the crouton juveniles escaped. Okay, I'm gonna have to put them back where they belong. All right, you guys are so cute, but you guys have to stay in here, okay? You're supposed to be on the side. Wow. All right, I'm gonna miss Tiny. Come on over here, Peppermint. Uh, and Vanilla, I guess you got a whole bunch of interesting things to go ahead and eat. Whoops, I just smacked you with Tiny's, or Crumpet's very, very long dog legs. Well, Vanilla, I don't know if I wanted you to eat that, but you're gonna mutate into something interesting now. Uh, all right, guys. Well, the last thing I want to do is go ahead and put away Tiny's legacy. Tiny and Crump- or Tiny and Peppermint's legacy in here of a very, very long dog. And we'll just have to see. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe plant a seed in here. Let's get some golden blanket flowers growing up here. Vanilla, I'm gonna praise you for shaking the other dogs, as weird as that is. I'm gonna clean up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. And there's our new poppers! And now we have, like, I guess this is going to be Tiny the Second. Oh my gosh, Tiny the Second, you're so small. Not as small as our itty bitty little ones, but still very small. All right, and then I'm gonna move. There we go, blockade you in. And Tiny the Second, I have no idea what I'm going to feed you. Let's try giving you something I haven't fed the other dogs yet. Dehydrated treats, why not? I'm sure that's fine. Probably not, but, you know, we're doing our best. Watch out, Vanilla. Whoops, I just shoved Peppermint down. <laughs> and meanwhile, I need to clean these up, too. No, stop eating the poop. Celery, good job. Good job hoarding the objects. I'll give you more, like, alien fruit to be able to focus on eating. There we go. I'm gonna get a baby tooth in here. For itty bitty tiny the second to enjoy. <laughs> but alright, guys. So, this is been weird as usual. Uh, I think it's a good thing that we now have the crouton juveniles who hopefully will grow up soon and then we can start using them for crossbreeding with some of our eggs. I have no idea what the decorative corn does so we might have them eat some decorative corn. All right, come here tainsy thing. Yeah, you need to turn around. You're smaller than this corn cob. But come eat it. You have a tail? And the tiniest little poops. I gotta clean it up. Come eat this. This is so weird. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this game, but I absolutely am. And it's really fun because I just kind of want to follow our genetics and I just really want to be able to celebrate as we get- <gasps> Crouton's ready to go! Your celery's ready to go, you guys! Celery's ready to go! I just really want to celebrate as we get like better and better dogs and Celery is about to be ready. I'm so excited. Celery is going to probably hopefully mutate into something that's even greener and that will be absolutely amazing. And meanwhile, Tiny Crouton, come eat this decorative corn, please. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for the ridiculous adorableness of these doggos. And if you would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.